We're often put into the shoes of the hero told to stop some unspeakable evil or some main villain in a video game. However, not all villains are bad. In fact, some of them are actually right in their endeavors, even though their actions speak differently about what they're trying to fight for. Here are five villains that were right. Throughout Infamous, Kessler is seen as your traditional bad guy, kidnapping people and killing Cole's girlfriend. However, during the adventure, he keeps dropping these cryptic clues to something major that's about to happen. During the final moments of Kessler's life, we learn that Kessler was actually Cole who traveled back in time to train his younger self against a deadly conduit known as the Beast, a monster that Kessler chose not to fight and instead flee to protect his family. In an attempt to prevent Cole from doing the same, Kessler took the family that he protected from Cole, hence killing his girlfriend Triss, and was given no choice but to train Cole into the warrior that he is today. It's a very extreme example of trying to teach yourself a hard lesson, but Kessler was successful. Not only did Cole go on to defeat the Beast, yes it's canon if you played Infamous Second Son, he did actually defeat the Beast and chose to sacrifice all the conduits, but nevertheless, it's very sad to see that Kessler lost everything, and even more so that he had to kill the woman he loved. In the end, Kessler was right, even if his methods were very painful for him and for everyone around him to endure. Throughout Fable 3, you encounter deadly beasts and save the world from darkness by either becoming the paragon of leadership or a tyrannical monster. Regardless of your choice, it's clear that you were destined for greatness and given the le leadership role without question, something that Commander Milton doesn't agree with. After a clever ruse to obtain your power, Milton dies in your hands, but not without one warning, that the people will rise up and decide who should rule. While Milton's actions were sinister, he does have a point. A system where people are born into leadership instead of being elected won't last long, especially considering that your brother wasn't exactly the best leader, and even though you've accomplished great things, if you were a tyrannical leader who chose to sacrifice the people in exchange for money and wealth, well, I don't think the people would be too kind-hearted to follow you in the future. It only takes one person to desire a revolution for things to happen. And, well, maybe it'll happen in the next fable that we probably will never have. It took a few games following the establishment of Haytham Kenway to get the full picture of the Templar and Assassin War, but Haytham was the first to showcase the previously nefarious Templar Order in a positive light. Haytham is ruthless in his mission, but he shows that the Templars do desire order above all, arguing that the freedom the Assassin Order fights for encourages chaos. While neither side's ideology is without issue, Haytham finally showcases that the Templars are not all bad and the Assassins are not all good. It was in the events of Assassin's Creed Rogue that we finally see that the Assassins are driven by their own ideology, not just what's right. This zeal can easily put them in the category of villain, and it wasn't until Haytham that we finally started to see that the Templars are actually maybe the good guys. The Far Cry franchise has a great reputation of delivering some of the best villains in video games, and Far Cry 5's antagonist is no exception. Joseph Seed is charismatic, focused, and very deadly. This cult leader constantly tells the player and his followers of Eden Gate about this upcoming cataclysm, but of course, no one on the outside really believes him. Well, that all changes when you finally reach the end in and his predictions come true. Bombs drop and the world is turned into a nuclear wasteland. The remaining survivors attempt to lift on what remains in the events of Far Cry New Dawn, with even some characters going as far as to join Joseph Seed who were previously villains, like the deputy who takes on the role of the judge. I control the Reapers. They are my solution. Throughout the Mass Effect trilogy, your primary enemy always remains the Reapers, a synthetic group of aliens who kill all advanced life every 50,000 years. However, it turns out the whole mantra of being our salvation through destruction wasn't without merit. 
Turns out the Reaper's creator, the Intelligent, was an AI made by the Leviathans, an older race of aliens, to construct a solution to prevent life forms from destroying themselves and preserve life within the universe. The AI explains to Shepard that life forms advance enough to create synthetic life that eventually rise up and kill the creators. We see an example of this with the Quarians and the Geth, who almost led to the extinction of the species when the Geth decided to overturn the Quarians. To prevent this, the AI created the Reapers and started the cycle, a reset button to prevent the extermination of species and preserve all life. Think Horizon Zero Dawn, only on a universal scale. The AI eventually realizes that the cycle isn't permanent and enlists on Commander Shepard to make the final choice in Mass Effect 3 based on three solutions that were provided to the player. Well, there are technically four because you can choose to reject all three solutions and just continue with the war effort. But in a way, you have to see the AI's perspective and all this. On the long term, they're kind of right because as we've seen with the Geth and Quarians, and I'm certain we, if we saw all the other races, they did also encounter similar problems with Javik explaining that synthetics were always kept at a almost arm's length from everyone else in order to prevent this from happening. But eventually it will happen. I mean, we're going through this in real life where there are certain programs in place to prevent AI from accelerating towards the point of no return. So yeah, in a way the intelligence is kind of right in its solution, even though the execution has been almost like hell on earth. So those are my five villains that were right. Do you have any more examples? Share them in the comments below. And as always, everyone stay awesome.